welcome back to my channel. I've got a very exciting week coming up so I thought I'd do a little weekly vlog so just practicing <laughs> this kind of content. Um, I just finished catering a week ago so I had the WBFF show and then a week after that I catered for a yoga retreat so if you didn't see on my social media it was a group of about 20 women or 22 including the organizer and her sister and feeding myself as well and I did the whole thing on my own which was crazy I chose all the meals which is all from my eat from the earth meal guide I came back from Gold Coast WBFF had two days at home and I worked um, part-time shifts on those days as well did three grocery shops with three carfuls of food then Friday I went to the supermarket at 8 for the final shot, was in the kitchen by 10, didn't get home till 9.30 at night. So I was prepping all the slices for the next day, doing some of the salads and stuff, then made a soup and dinner for when everyone got there. Saturday I got to the kitchen at 6.30am, got home at 8.30pm, so I did breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, soup, dinner, all by myself, cleaning up everyone's dishes in between, doing all the pot wash serving whilst cooking and preparing for the next meal and then on the Sunday I did the breakfast morning tea and lunch then had to clean the whole commercial kitchen cut all the food home it took me 10 goes to get everything back inside organize my whole pantry it was hard work I would say I could not walk by the end of it but I saw the acupuncturist uh, she was there doing her acupuncture and she also works at the same health store as me uh, from the practitioner room and she said yeah but are you having fun and I'm like yes this is very fun to be honest so it was very busy and very hard but so cool being able to do something like that and serve everyone plant-based food and just surprise them with new dishes so that was something huge that I can take off my accomplishments list that was way out of my comfort zone so that was going awesome then I just launched my brand new online course, my first ever one, How to Market Your Brand on Instagram. So I'm branching out of nutrition and wellness for the first time because I have been building my business on Instagram for quite a few years now. So I've experienced both sides with building my nutrition and also being an influencer, working for other brands, creating content. And I talk all about how I edit my photos, how to make your feed aesthetically pleasing, how to stay consistent and how to make your page captivating to get more followers and how to make your posts reach more people. And then also at the end, I've got how to diversify your income online and then a little bit of how to manage, how to find and manage influencers or stay on top of brand deals if you are an influencer. So I spent a lot of time on that. So I'll put that in the link below. It's freshly just launched, which is very, very exciting. And then this week, I've got a very crazy month, don't I? This week, I am going for my first ever retreat. So I think it was about six to eight months ago, Nuzes, the protein company who I'm an ambassador for, I've taken their products for two to three years now, I'm pretty sure, they invited me to a retreat. <laughs> It's only one night, but it's in Byron Bay, which is where all the healthy people are, and I've never been there before. Um, so I'm very, very excited, and I've been looking forward to this for so long, and we, like we couldn't tell anyone till it happens kind of thing. So I get to go for my first ever retreat, which is very, very exciting. So I'm just going to take you guys along with me and show you what we get up to, because I don't actually know what's going to be happening on the trip, but I'm so excited. This is just the thing I need. <laughs> and then number four, last but not least, everything is completely turning around. So not too long ago, I posted a video. 15 mental health hacks for when life kicks you in the butt and I was going through a very hard time and I've just signed up for these things out of my comfort zone. I did the WBFF show which I've been eyeing up for years but I've always been too scared to take the leap. I catered for a whole yoga retreat and I don't know how to do that and I just did it and it went smoothly and I'm just enjoying time with myself and creating the life that I want to live. And then... <laughs> My nana booked me a flight home to New Zealand and I haven't seen my family in over a year since before COVID. Um, so I moved over here and 
I always just said to them, it was 31st of January uh, 2020. Um, and I said to them, oh, don't worry, if I get homesick, I can just come back and visit at any time. I can just come back in a few months if it doesn't work out. And then I basically got stuck over here and when things turned really bad, when heaps of stuff was happening in my personal life and I lost the food truck and my income and personal relationships were falling apart, it was very, very bad. I tried to book a flight home and the wait, the wait time for the quarantine in New Zealand was three months and I couldn't even leave and the flights were $800 one way and I just tried to stick it out here and then finally once 2021 hit I actually started enjoying it and I'm enjoying the scenery, I like my new house, I'm a five minute walk to basically any beach I want which is awesome. Um, but I really do need to get home and see everyone. I get to see my best friend, my mom, and my sister, who I hardly talk to, so that would be really, really nice. And just to bring back all of those old memories, I want to do my favorite hikes again. I want to go, I want to, I want to go out to a gig with my best friend, and I, I want to just go to the beach with my dad and just do nothing because. It has been a long year and it just seemed like I would like, not that I'd never see them again, but I can't imagine actually physically hugging them again because it just feels like so long that we've only just had phone calls. So thank you Nana for booking my flight and I'll be going for two or three weeks and then I'll be back in Oz moving into the next phase of my life and creating my next path. So. <laughs> I've just been trying to relax and have extra, extra nice cuddles with my dog because I've never been away from her for that long. I'm just trying to be really present and just relax because with all the socializing I'm going to be doing, it's probably going to drain me a little bit. So I'm just laying in bed watching Earthly and Ed videos on YouTube and then just cuddling her and then just taking some time before everything gets really, really busy. So that's my little update for the week and I hope you enjoy the vlog. I just checked into my accommodation and wow what a crazy day of travel that's been. I woke up at 5am because I was stressed out that I'd press snooze and then miss my flight. So I was awake very early, I was meant to be at the airport by 7. The person who was meant to drop me at the airport then had a medical emergency and I was trying to get them in the car and it was just really bad so I had to leave them there take their car, leave their keys with the security people at the airport to be picked up later, then call the ambulance and send it to their house. So 
it was a little bit stressful and if my flight wasn't delayed I literally would have missed the flight because of all of that so <laughs> very scary then a five hour delay <laughs> and then finally got on the flight and then uh, I got lost in the Brisbane airport and then I was meant to catch a connecting bus and I got the whole itinerary wrong and he had to come and find me and I held up the whole bus and it was so stressful. So I just got to Byron now and I'm really excited to meet everyone and see what we have planned because I have no idea what is involved or what we'll be doing or anything. And I just want to say a thank you to my best friend because I had a little bit of a mental breakdown, not just from the travel, but quite a few things piling up at once and I got into a really dark spot for a little bit. And uh, she's just always, I'm just so grateful to have someone who's always there to pick me up and be my little hype girl and just give me all the pep talks that I need and just supports me unconditionally. So oh, I'm so grateful to have someone like that in my life. Um, but yes, let's get settled for the night and see what we've got on. Good morning guys. I honestly had the longest, nicest sleep ever, which was much, much needed. And I just went down to get a nice little oat flat white, flat white with oat milk. And I've decided to make, well I've been working on it for a few days when I was at the airports and stuff, making a free seven day real food, real, real quick challenge. So each day of the week I'll send different topics to your inbox. So we cover gut health, how to, how to stay on track when you're stressed, busy and exhausted and weight loss mistakes and all of these different topics and i've also thrown in free bonus recipes for my eat from the earth meal guide so i'll put that in the link below if you want to sign up for free so i'm just finishing that off before i head out for the day and then just did my makeup and stuff so i'm feeling really happy and content
Okay, so I wanted to do a little video of what we got in our little gift bags. So these are the pajamas and it's literally got my initials on it, Cassie Amber. Oh my God, I don't even own pajamas. So these are so nice and silky. And the crystal water bottle, which I'm so excited for because I broke my last one. So it's got some beautiful rose quartz in there and a little note with what it's good for. And I was just thinking I need another overnight bag because mine got lost in the move. That's super helpful. And then when we're out, someone came in and put these little chips in the room. We sell these at the health store, so I have tried them before. And I eat them so fast within seconds. Some toothpaste and a bamboo toothbrush. Nuzes products. Nuzes shirt. A new watch. Oh my god. <laughs> so cute. And then a little Nuzes notebook. And this book as well. A little natural deodorant cloth. And um, these are little bands that you can put on your wrists or ankles and work out at the gym. Um, sorry, <laughs> all this stuff is just so amazing. I'm honestly feeling so grateful. We just went out for the most beautiful lunch and all of the people here are just on a mission, doing amazing things and just so motivated and smart and insightful. And it, oh, it was just so cool making connections with people who have similar interests and people with big goals that they're working towards. So we've just got a little bit of downtime at the moment. And then this afternoon, we're going to do a brand new workout. This lady is literally 45 years old and she looks 28. And she's invented this workout that encompasses your physical health, your mental health and your spirituality. So that will be interesting to see. And yes, I'm just feeling so amazed that I get to experience this. I'm so grateful.
I just wanted to shine light on something that just happened, which is very weird. I don't think it's ever happened like this before, but I literally, um, so this morning I came across a four minute video about what really happens in the beef industry in Australia because it's beef week at the moment and I'm actually living in the beef capital. So I knew there was a, a tourism thing. I didn't know they had all these activities planned and <laughs> to make it worse in the advertisements, they literally list one of the sightseeing things or <laughs> attractions as a carcass competition. They literally say that on their website. So I, when I saw this video, I thought it was life changing. I didn't even know half that stuff went on. So I shared it on my story and now I have one of my followers threatening to come and meet me at the health store to give me some real talk. And we actually had a mature discussion about a week ago about her points of view on farming and my points of view on farming. And she's like, yeah, thanks for the talk check. And I'm like, yeah, this was really mature. We can agree to disagree. And it's really healthy to have those discussions, I think, and challenge your perspective, maybe learn something new. This time she literally laughed at cows getting killed and abused in the video. And yeah, she was just sending me threats that she's going to come in and find me at work and stuff. And I just, I don't feel, I don't feel guilty for sticking up for my beliefs, even though it's not the norms, because obviously I'm a minority. I'm not fitting in with everyone else. I don't just agree with everyone else's opinion because I might stand out because that's the whole point. If I care about something, I don't want to just sit there and watch kind of thing so that's what I've dedicated this whole thing to is because I found my purpose I want to make the world a better place I have a heart I just wish when I was she was saying that stuff I was like I just wish she could have a heart and imagine that the cow is a pet dog just like we all have pet dogs and treat them like our family kind of thing so that was just yeah quite disheartening and yeah, I'm just trying to stay, stay positive and not let it get to me because obviously if you put yourself out there online, there will be some people who disagree and go out of their way to bring you down. So yes, so I'm going to go home and unpack my suitcase and then tomorrow it'll just be washing, repacking the suitca suitcase, so meeting another friend for an acai bowl before I head back to New Zealand and walking the dog and maybe the gym. So finish off the week on a good note after that beautiful retreat. So yeah. now Sunday and I'm going to wrap up this video now before I go I just wanted to show you a little package well a big package that I just got from goodness me box so the last three months have been really awesome we had a better sleep box and a stressless box and now this one is all about gut health so as you can see they come full of different products um, I just took some photos to them for my Instagram 
And then I've got a breakdown of all of the different companies and the products that are in the box. And it's a really good way to discover new products um, like without buying the whole thing, if that makes sense. They just give you all these little samples. So that's a little gut restore, little um, protein bars and um, just like little, so many little snacks. And in this one, they've actually got an all natural hormonal balancing one. We sell that at the health store that I work at. More snacks and honestly, just every time I open it, I'm just so, so impressed with the stuff that they put in there. And it's just a way, a great way to discover new brands that you might want to start incorporating more of in your daily routine. So I'll put my discount code for that below. So thank you so much, goodness me, Ross. They also give you this little booklet with different daily tasks and just gives you the education behind everything. So I just think it's so cool and you can connect with everyone in the Facebook group. So my code is Cassie10 and I'll link that all for you below. And before I go, I just wanted to say thank you so much to New Zest. Obviously, I did a weekly vlog, but my week does not look like this every week. This is one of the most exciting weeks of my whole life. So I just think it would be cool to look back on in the future as well. But thank you so much, New Zest, for choosing me to go on that retreat because <laughs> I am lost for words. That was life-changing and so incredible and i would never done something so special usually i'm on the serving side because i did seven years of hospitality so i'd be the one doing all the dishes or the catering doing all the serving and it's so nice to be on the other side and actually get treated so nicely so that whole experience was crazy it was amazing to meet other girls who are basically just other versions of me we're all know what our passion is and we're working towards something bigger and it was so so cool cool to connect with everyone so i'm very very grateful for that and i'll wrap up this video now but if you enjoyed it then hit like and subscribe and i'll see you for future videos Yay. <laughs>